<clears throat> hey guys, let's talk about sensors a minute. This one is the oil temperature sensor. And then we have two water temperature sensors. Why two? That's the question I ask when searching everything. Um, let me uh, move the camera and I'll show you why. Okay, the reason for two of them. One is for the temperature gauge. And this one here that goes in this hole because this is a manual transmission truck, it gets an extra temperature sensor. Why? I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the schematics, but that's what I did find out. So we've got all our sensors. Let's put them in. They're all 3 8 um, pipe thread. And 3 8 pipe thread torques to 27 foot-pounds. I doubt we'll make it that far because we want to put them where the where you can get to the uh, clips on You don't want the clips facing something that won't work. But we get them tight enough so they won't leak. So let's get set up and do that. First is the oil temperature sensor. It goes right here. And they have sealer already on them. There's no need to put anything on them. Just screw them in. And it's a 19 millimeter wrench. And like I said, we're just going to get them, this is screwing into aluminum, so, you know, you don't want to be reefing on it like uh, He-Man. We're going to try that, because that puts the clip up. I don't know if we can make it a whole other turn. Let's leave it there. All right, let me put the camera on the other side, and we'll see what we can get. Part number for the uh, two temperature sensors. And part number for that um, oil temperature sensor we just put in. There's also an oil pressure sensor. Let me move this camera a little bit. That goes right here. And it will be put in after, we're, after the engine's in because there's a good chance of it getting broken. Leaning over trying to put the engine in. So let me cut these open and we'll put these two temperature sensors in. And one word of caution, do not buy cheap sensors. You're liable to get non-functional or uh, weirdness out of them. And guess who's reading it? The computer's reading it. And if you're sending the computer goofy data, yeah, you can't depend on your engine to run anything but goofy. So... Use Motorcraft sensors. All right, let's tighten these up. We're just doing this while we're waiting on our transmission to get done. Um, they did call me. It looks like it's going to be... They were promising me um, Friday, but it looks like it's going to be early next week because they had uh, a backlog of transmissions they were doing all right I gotta go around the other side of the engine to get this one hang on a second and like I said you know you can, you can go to rock auto and Look on their page, and yeah, these sensors are cheap. And some of them are like five bucks. Okay, and then when you're trying to figure out why your engine's not running quite right, you know, because uh, you'll you'll know why. Because goofy sensors sending bad data. It's only a five volt circuit, so you know it's not like it's any type of high voltage, and it's. 5 volts compared to ground, usually. And they're thermistors. And you'll want to uh, get good parts, man. This is one thing you don't want to skimp out on. Simply because it can cause all kinds of grief. Unneeded, too. Everything else is fine, and the computer is the one getting goofy data, 
so it sends it tries to adjust for it. Yeah. And one thing these two temperature senders actually control specifically this this one just goes to the gauge. It's an idiot light with a needle. Um, this one, however, sends data to the computer and controls fueling. You know, it'll make the fuel the fuel richer when the engine's cold. So if it's sending bad data, you're gonna get all kinds of crap. Hi, Lucy. Come here. Come here, Lucy. Let's show you off. You're a pretty dog. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, good little dog. Part coonhound, part lab, and a beautiful personality. She loves to be out here with me.